looking to add on to your little home gym collection? Well today and in this video we're going to be talking about TRX straps and why they make a perfect addition to a small home gym. Hi, I'm Top of the Gomez and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm here to help all you busy ladies out there juggling jobs, careers, and kiddos with no real time to exercise. I'm going to give you exercise tips, tricks, exercise routines, and even product reviews to help make exercise a part of your life. And today with product reviews, we're talking about TRX. Now, this is not the actual, I will show you in a um, picture the whole set, but these straps here are not the actual TRX brand name trademark straps. They are essentially called suspension training straps. And these I got knockoff version at a exquisite, a phenomenal, phenomenal price. Okay. So I'm going to just throw that out there um, immediately. If you cannot find or you don't want to spend the price of a TRX home kit, go ahead and look for knockoff brands. Now, there are some pros and cons to getting knockoffs, and we're gonna talk about the pros and cons here, and it depends on what your budget is, because a home TRX kit can cost anywhere from $150 to $250. But this kit that I got right here, which is very handy, and let me tell you, it does the exact same thing. You get the exact same workout, you just have to change things up a little bit. It cost me a whole $15. Yes, $15. I got this set from Aldi's. Um, for those of you that don't live near an Aldi grocery store, I love Aldi's. Um, the video is not about Aldi's, so we won't talk much more about that. But in that store, you can always find these random products. And I wasn't even in the market for TRX straps yet. I was just getting started on building my home garage gym. And just so happened, I'm walking through, of course, it's... Uh, beginning of the year and they have these literally for $15. I couldn't say no, they're a steal. So I picked them up and I never turned back. I at times have wanted to get the original TRX trademark brand, but I have something that already works. So I was like, eh, I can use the $200 to buy something else in my garage that is functional as well. So let's get into talk about these straps and why TRX is great. And my squat rack is right behind me. First thing I'm gonna do is hook them up and then I can stretch them out and we'll talk about them then. All right, we are all hooked up. Okay, so here we are nice and close to the straps. As you can see, they are two separate straps, okay? TRX, what is amazing about the actual TRX straps is that there are, it is one strap. They're connected at the top, and at the connection at the top, there's a little uh, piece of fabric that holds them together, the two straps that come down, and you can kind of swivel in between to kind of find your balance and the center of the two straps. In this case, that is not an option. You attach both straps individually with these little clamps here. And there's a bunch of little slots in the strap. As you can see, between all of the markings, these are all different slots to put your clamp. So you essentially Throw it over your bar, pick your spot and lock it in. Now you gotta make sure that both are locked at the same marking, otherwise they will be uneven. Next, to adjust your height, you have these tabs here. TRX has these tabs as well. This is for the extra material that you don't end up using. And here at the bottom, Near your handlebar, there's another clamp as well. And this clamp, you let it go and you can feed it more or less depending on what you want. So this has to be even with the other side as well to have, um, to be even basically. <laughs> so now a 
another thing that these don't have that TRX has, which makes it great, is TRX has this bar at the bottom here, but they also have another fabric insert in this little loop. And that just helps for different exercises when you put your feet in. In this case, when you put your feet in the bottom straps here, you're putting your foot in right where, you, where, right where you'll grab the handlebar as well. So your feet and your hands touch the same area. Essentially, it doesn't bother me, but that could be a make or break if you rather go with the TRX brand versus a knockoff brand. Now, this brand is Crane. I'm not sure if you can actually find this online anywhere, um, but I will link below other knockoff TRX straps, including TRX itself, so that you can go ahead and choose. And of course, the knockoff brands I'm gonna pick for you down below is something I would purchase if I hadn't already got these, all right? So, these are great for all sorts of exercises. Now, if you're wondering, well, what if I don't have a bar to hang my straps on? How is this gonna work? I don't have a squat rack in my garage. Don't worry. I didn't even take the tags off of these. These are doormats. So, for a doormat, you stick this on the other side of the door, this big round piece. Let me get closer so you can see it. This big round piece goes on the other side of your door. You clamp, you shut the door on it, and then you have a little part that you feed through, and this is where you'll clamp your strap to it, okay? So this comes with two door mounts. I've never had to use it because I've always had my um, squat rack, and one of the reasons I picked the squat rack I do have is because of I wanted a pull-up bar so that I could do pull-ups and T-Rex and use my bands and other sorts of things. But don't worry, there are door straps. Promise you, these come in handy, they work. So let's continue talking about suspension training and why you'd want these silly straps anyways. They don't look important, do they? But they're amazing. So a couple of things about suspension training, when you're doing it, you're actually using your whole body in exercises. And I will show you some exercises as I talk about them um, under my voice. So some of the exercises that you're doing, say you're gonna do um, a simple row. When you row on the TRX strap, you're not only engaging your lats, you are engaging your core, your legs, you're working your biceps, you're working everything. Because your body is using its whole self, basically, to lift you. So it's not just your lats. It takes a lot more strength and endurance to complete TRX exercises. Another exercise that I, uh, one exercise that I really love to do with the TRX straps is pistol squats. So pistol squats are basically a one-legged squat where your butt touches the, almost touches the ground and then you stand back up. Most people don't have that type of strength to do a pistol squat on their own. But when you do it with the TRX strap, you are able to do it. You're getting an amazing workout for your legs, hamstrings, quads, and then again, another great upper body workout. There are so many exercises that you can do with your TRX straps that once you get started, you won't want to quit. But I don't recommend TRX, unless you're familiar with it, I don't recommend TRX as a first piece of equipment. Unless you're familiar with TRX or suspension training from the beginning, I don't recommend getting these type of straps as your first piece of equipment, only because it's a little bit more advanced. It's um, something that you kind of ease into. Another great benefit about TRX straps is it's low impact, it really is. Um, you're using your whole body to do these exercises, but you don't need dumbbells. You, you don't need any of that. And it's really, really low impact because say you are doing a squat or a squat jump, and you're really not that good at squats, you don't have good form, well, the TRX can help you get good form by relying on the rest of your body, and you don't have to rely on those legs quite as much when you're doing a squat jump because your arms are pulling you up as well. 
This is really good for practicing form. A lot of people really do have bad form when they squat. Um, so TRX is something that I incorporate with my clients to give them that balance, that center, and that form that they need to get started with other more advanced exercises. It's really easy to fix your form on a TRX strap than it is to fix your form when you're just squatting regularly. Um, so those are some of the benefits and why I recommend them. Um, you can do, I promise you, you can do an intense workout with TRX straps. So don't let those little straps fool you because they're amazing. Um, some of the exercises I've talked about before about using your stability ball, say you're going to do just pikes, um, where you put your feet on the stability ball and you're lifting your butt up in the air. You can do the same thing on your TRX straps. How about a tuck? Put your feet in your TRX strap and tuck. You can do Spider-Man push-ups. You can do regular push-ups. You can plank and you're engaging more core than you would if you were just doing it on the ground. So I promise you, um, it is an incredible piece of equipment. And if you can find a good knockoff brand, you're maybe gonna spend 50 bucks on a good piece of strap. So that's just another cheap piece to add to your little home bundle that is very versatile. Hope you guys like this video. If you have any other questions about my straps or how I use them, please put them in the comments below. Otherwise, stay positive, work hard, and God bless. Aloha.